A very good morning to you. Welcome to this morning's edition of Command Your Morning. We are excited to have you and we want to thank you for giving us this rare privilege and opportunity to fellowship in your private spaces with you. We don't take it for granted at all. Before we press forward with anything we want to do today, I want to entreat you to go ahead kindly and share the video with as many people as possible. Tell them to come online because Command Your Morning is back on. We are here to pray. We are here to tarry. We are here um, to prevail in prayer together. I want you to invite your friends, your brothers, your sisters, put in on every platform that you can. And I want you to let them know that if we'll pray together, we'll definitely win together. But if God has given us the opportunity to see today, I just also want to reiterate the point that life is not a right, it's a privilege. And if God has given you this privilege to see today, I want your voice to be lifted, child of God, and I want you to be thankful to Him. Let us lift up our voices unto Him. Let us exalt the name of our God together. Let us bless our God. We give you praise and we give you glory all the time. Thank you, Lord. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall be kept with you. Bless your holy name. The ambos shall hear the Lord and the Lord. We lift up your voice, we give you all the glory. Oh Lord, only you are deserving. Come on now, praise and only you are deserving. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. 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 Bless you, Lord. Thank 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 you, Lord.
I would have drawn in the waters, <laughs> but my soul has found an escape. Yeah, a hiding place in you The strongholds of sin is broken My hope is in the name of the Lord And I can't live without you Without
praising you Yet no word sounds you up Then I ask the Lord What name fits you? And he said, yeah Manda ba senda ba kato Sendere ba asanga la mga simbole masa
saying that he is the alpha he is the omega he's the beginning he's the end he's the author and the finisher of our faith he's the beginning and the end he is the one who was is and is to come there is none holy as our god there is none besides him and amongst the gods there is none like him for he is glorious in holiness he thunders from above and at the blast of his nostrils mountains keep like rocks there is none like our god and wherever you are if you know that there is none like your god like my god like our god i want you to lift up your voice and give god your best praise wherever you find yourself come on shout and scream and thank our god hallelujah to the lamb it's still a very good time to share the video and the link with as many people as you can and tell them to come online let us all pray together i strongly believe that if we'll pray together we'll win together for if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray seek my face and turn from their wicked ways the bible says then i'll hear from heaven and heal their lads it is interesting that one of the ways to demonstrate your humility before god is by yielding to him and praying to him telling him that you know what i cannot do this on my own for by strength shall no man prevail now humility is demonstrated through prayer and prayer is an act of humility as well they go together they walk in tandem and i want us to pray together if you have shared the link our anchor scripture is going to be a continuation of what we did yesterday we started with the book of Joel chapter number two and today we want to still sojourn um, through the pages of that holy writer and man of God from Joel chapter number two from the verse number 21 fear not O land be glad and rejoice for the Lord will do great things I just came to tell you before I even press forward that God is about to do great things in your life he says fear not O land fear not be glad and rejoice for the Lord will do 
great things and i just want you to understand not man will do not you can do not friends will do not a brother not a sister god will do great things and sermonically i just want to pause and let you understand that your god is about to do something great in your life amen i don't know where they have boxed you up and the realm of mediocrity they've told you to be your status quo but god is about to break those shackles and amen. do a great thing in your life the verse number 22 let's travel with it and pray um, uh, be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastors of the wilderness do spring. For the tree beareth forth fruit, uh, the fig tree and the vine do yield uh, their strength. The verse number 23, be glad then, be glad, ye children of Zion. Be glad, ye children of Ghana. Be glad, ye children of Africa. Be glad, ye children of Europe. Be glad, ye Eurasians. Be glad, those of you in America and other continents of our world. Be glad, ye children of Zion. And rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given you the former rain moderately and it will cause to come down for you the rain the former rain and the latter rain in the first month and i just want you to understand that when we are talking about recovery it is what you have lost in time that god reaches back into time pull out of time and bring things to you on time now that is what recovery is about that god is about to bring some things to you the former rain god is bringing to you the former rain with that he said it will be moderate it will come moderately the former rain what you lost in time will come moderately but uh, the fact that you are having that doesn't mean you won't have the carrot he says uh, and you'll cost down for you your cost to come down for you the rain that is the present one then he ended by saying the latter rain will come the triune nature of our God is also demonstrated in the three dimensions whereby he demonstrates and brings to us the blessings from on high. The verse number 24. And the floors, your floors, shall be full of wheat and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. The fat it shall overflow with wine and with oil. The verse number 25. And I will restore to you. You see, when we talk about recovery, when we talk about recovery, God is making room for restoration, restitution, and bringing to you all that you had lost in time. We spoke about vain labor last week. It is just apt and proper that after dealing with the shackles of vain labor we pray for divine recovery that the years of vain labor will have a just recompense i pray you follow he says and i'll restore to you the years that the locust has eaten the canker worm the years not even weeks years so there are some things that you lost 10 years ago God is bringing you restoration. That is the recovery path. You are going to recover what you lost 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, 30 years ago, 50 years ago. What you lost a year ago, what you lost two, three, four, five years ago. God is saying the years that they ate from your life, you'll recover. And I want to pray with you this morning. That the Lord God will bring you to the place where you'll be girded with recovery. You'll be crowned with restoration. And the Lord God will exalt your horns like that of the unicorn. Are you ready to pray with me now? Yes. I want you to be upstanding if you can. Those of you that are driving, keep your eyes on the road and let us pray together. But if you haven't shared the video yet, we want you to share the video and ask people to come along because we believe that we have to recover. If we are broken the shackles of vain labor, it is just right that we pray that our years and days of vain labor, may the Lord grant us the grace for total recovery. And I pray for you right now 
that may you be given the grace for total recovery yes not partial recovery total recovery yes not half and half recovery Jesus. and right now we prophesy over your life Jesus. that you will recover all Amen. we prophesy over your life Jesus. that the days the years the months the weeks that they stole from you Jesus. by the grace by the authority by the power of our god Jesus. you Jesus. will yes recover all recover. say lord jesus, lord jesus. Lord jesus. as i lift up my voice and as i begin, begin to pray, pray. As I, begin to pray. As I, begin to pray. I pray thee i pray let thee let the grace let the grace for recovery, for recovery. Be, made be made available unto me unto me, unto me. The, mantle the mantle of recovery of recovery the grace the grace, the grace of recovery of recovery the bible says, the bible says, bible says my god my god, god will restore will restore, restore unto me unto me the days the days, the days the years, the years, the years that the palmer worm, that the palmer worm, the canker worm, the canker worm, have been eaten, have been eaten from my life, from my life. And as I lift up my voice, as I lift up my voice, let the restoration, let the restoration be completed, be completed. Let the recovery, let the recovery be initiated, be initiated. And by my God, by my God, I declare, I declare, I recover all, 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 I recover all. Ten years. Years ago, ten years ago, what I lost, what, what I lost, I recover all, I recover all. Five years ago, five years ago, years ago what I lost, what I lost, I recover all, I recover all. Let that be, let that be divine recovery, divine recovery. Lift up your voice, the Lord, 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 Listen, when it comes to God, your Bible says, and Jacob was called a prince. Jacob wasn't called a prince until he fought the God man. After he fought the God man, the Bible says that he was called a prince, and the reason for him being named and titled a prince was because with God and with man, he had power. But he fought the God man and prevailed. That's it. What was the nature of the fight? It was a wrestling, it was about where he said to himself that until you bless me, I will not let you go. Listen, you have lost and suffered many things over the years. You had labored in vain. You worked and there was nothing to show for. Jesus. You had put in your shift and there was nothing to show for. Mercy. You didn't have a just recompense to what you did. And all these things are all running around you. I want you to go before God with all seriousness and tell yourself that Lord, until I recover all, I will, not, I will not hold my peace. Yes. I want you to be restless. You have been too comfortable with discomfort. You, you, you have become synonymous to pain. And to you, it's like pain is your normal enclave. That's not where you belong. God wants you to move out of that space and that zone. 
don't be too comfortable with discomfort you have been too okay with being downtrodden and abused and manipulated and uh, and beaten and frustrated and insulted that is not who you are there is a recovery path for you there is God wants you to recover all maybe let me just say this before we press forward the proper now oh, of course restlessness the proper now after the word restlessness in most of the dictionaries you'll find in the world the proper noun after restlessness is restoration that is to tell you that without restlessness until you become uncomfortable Jesus. with where you are you see they took it it's like you are okay but become restless about it the chick gets out of the eggshell the egg it gets out of the shell because it becomes uncomfortable with the space when you become uncomfortable with the space you break loose you break out of it and i want you to understand this child of god god has more for you he wants your field your your your, your field to be filled with wine and oil what it means is that he wants you to walk in the overflow he wants more for you than you can ever imagine think or even ask him for the problem is you are you've become very comfortable but today jesus whatever you have lost hey i want you to be restless about it yes and pray that god i recover god i recover say lord jesus lord, lord jesus. jesus the years the years that have been stolen that has been, been stolen. stolen joy joy that has been stolen that, that has been, been stolen peace Peace that have been stolen. That have been stolen. My breakthrough. My breakthrough. My breakthrough. That have been tampered. That, that have been tampered with. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. My health. My, my health. That has been tampered with. That has been tampered with. My ministry. My ministry. That has been tampered with. That has been tampered with. My elevation. My elevation. That has been tampered with. That has been tampered with. My promotion. My promotion. That has been tampered with. That has been tampered with. As I lift up my voice. As I lift up my voice. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Let that be. Let, Let that be divine, divine recovery. recovery in the name of Jesus. Let up your body on the body of 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 the Yeah. 
The last 10 minutes are also very important. It's still the time that you can tell somebody to join because sometimes 10 minutes of prayer is all that somebody might need. It's 10 minutes. Sometimes it's even five minutes of prayer. It's all that the person might need. And so you can still tell somebody to come online and pray with us because I believe it's going to be a blessing to the person. I strongly believe without any shred or shadow of doubt. that is going to be a blessing to somebody's life now please understand this um the bible says a great infected door is opened unto me but there are many adversaries Ipalia da gada, Ipalia da gada, 
Probably want to also apologize for the hitches in transmission today. Um, our people are trying, our technicians are trying very hard to make sure it is resolved so that you can enjoy the stream. And so, um, stick and stay with us. But let us pray the final or the last but one prayer. The Bible says, In the mouths of babes and sucklings, the Lord has ordained strength. I want you to go ahead right now and prophesy your recovery. Jesus, yes. You know the area of recovery you need. You know the area of recovery you know where exactly you need a recovery and i want you to go before our god right now the lord god Lord God. May the lines fall for me. In pleasant places. In pleasant places. Let my recovery. Let my recovery be complete. Be complete. Be complete. The living God. Spirit of the living God. God. Let there be a turnaround. Let there be a turnaround. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 transmission one more time we just want you to understand that it is of no fault of ours but we are trying to make sure it is fixed uh, so that we can all pray together I strongly believe and I know that some of you have made command your morning your devotional so things like this do upset you but please bear with us and we are with you in this we are praying together I want us to pray even as we wrap it up this morning we are talking about a recovery so in every area of Jesus. your life, yes, Lord. may you recover. Amen. Amen. May you recover. Amen. In 
any area Jesus Lord, things have been tampered with Jesus Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus yes, Lord. recover all Amen. may the Lord God bless and keep you Amen. may his face shine upon you Amen. may the Lord lift his countenance upon you and bring you peace Amen. and the east is separated from the west Jesus. so are you separated from any calamity yes. or disaster Amen. Amen. as we journey through the pages of the church Jesus. take territories yes, yes, and fulfill destiny Amen. Amen. in Jesus name Amen. Amen. Amen I'll come your way tomorrow same time myself and my team will be here to pray with you. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I command your morning is washing in strength and in power. And let us worship our God and make these prophetic um, pronouncements even as we sing unto him. And more.